Hello, my darlings. I hope you're doing very well. First of all, how do we like the new background situation going on? I got rid of the Winter Wonderland, but this time it's a little bit pink. I'm gonna, it's a lot pink. And it's not normally my aesthetic to be very pink, but I really like the tapestry that was at the back and there's a lot of pink on there. But yeah, we've uh, done an upgrade on the back there. Fun times, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably end up changing it at some point. But anyway, in today's video, I am gonna be talking about Safe Place Tattoo Studios. I mentioned doing a video like this in a TikTok reaction video. Um, where I reacted to a safe place tattoo studio. Now, the first one I ever saw was Pastel Palace. That kind of blew up on TikTok. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. I really want to visit there. And um, it kind of intrigued me to see if there was any other studios like this. And then I saw another um, safe place tattoo studio, uh, which is in Brooklyn, New York. It's called Haven Tattoo. And that's what kind of sparked me to do this video so i'll ask you guys in a tiktok reaction video if you knew any other tattoo studios that kind of promote safe place tattooing and for those that might not know what a safe place tattoo studio is it's basically catered to be safe <laughs> and they're very accepting of absolutely everybody there's no discrimination for people of color people that's part of the lgbtq plus community uh, disabled, people with mental illness also, so a lot of people have anxiety going into getting tattooed. And these types of tattoo studios pretty much cater to those needs and they promote being extremely non-judgmental and they just create a safe place <laughs> for people. And there has been quite a bit of backlash towards these kind of studios, mainly from like the old school tattooers, mainly men, like I don't want to be that person. And obviously I know it's not all men, like we don't need to be like, oh, I'm a man and I agree with this kind of thing. Like we get it, all right, there's no point, there's no need. But yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, why are you sort of babying people to get tattooed? You know, it's a rite of passage. It's a, you know, you just harden up, you know, if you get, a bad experience that's just part of being tattooed and it's no <laughs> like being tattooed is a very very intimate thing there is someone that you've possibly never met before touching you and that can be quite daunting for a lot of people for whatever reason and um, people might be attracted or drawn to these kind of tattoo studios because they've had bad experiences in regular tattoo studios where they don't sort of cater to people's needs. Now, obviously there is plenty of tattoo studios out there that don't sort of advertise in a safe place kind of way, but they are still very decent tattoo studios with amazing tattoo artists, of course. Uh, but then obviously with that, there are tattoo studios and tattoo artists out there that are assholes. <laughs> yeah. But I thought we'd talk about it. A couple of these ones have been recommended by you. I'm not gonna be able to do every single one that you guys have recommended in this video. But if you like this, then I can definitely do another part to this. But I thought I'd just shine some light on this situation. Why not, you know? It's very much needed in my opinion. The first studio that I wanna talk about is a tattoo studio that I've been to personally. They don't advertise as a safe place, but I know the owner, well, I don't like, no, I know her, but we've talked a few times. I've been tattooed by her. I know for a fact that she doesn't stand for bullshit. <laughs> like, she doesn't stand for arseholes. She runs her tattoo studio so nicely. It's beautiful. And I know a lot of the tattoo artists that work there are just amazing people. And that is Black Sheep in Bristol, UK. I have been tattooed by Paula Castle. She did my Patsy Stone tattoo. And yeah, she she's honestly an angel, like, she doesn't take shit, she won't have you apologise for your body or anything like that, she's like, don't you dare, you know, like, come as you are, you're accepted here, you're welcome. Black Sheep in Bristol offers tattooing only, so works of art on your body, and there's also cosmetic tattooing there as well. Let's run through the tattoo artists that work there, I thought this would be helpful for you guys should you want to visit any of these tattoo studios, I'm just going to talk about each artist that works there, so then if there's a style there that you like, that will help you if that makes sense. So, the first one, obviously, Paula Castle, who owns the tattoo studio. She does neo-traditional. She's amazing at what she does. Her portraits are 
immaculate does these really cute crying heart tattoos as well i love them there's casey marie who does black work neo traditional dot work again amazing pieces of art there's anna or anya it's spelled a-n-i-a so it's either anna or anya I'm not sure I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. She does dark black work and neo-traditional also. There's Josh Burgess who does traditional, oh my, just impeccable traditional work. There's Re Settle who does fine line tattoos and realism as well. There's Sam Murphy who also does traditional. And then there's another Sam who does black work and traditional, so like a full on mixed bag there and then there's holly who does black work and christy who does cosmetic tattooing which would be eyebrows and sort of like lip blush situation um but yeah i just wanted to mention black sheep just because i've been there i can vouch for it i had a great experience yeah you would definitely feel safe in that tattoo studio 100 percent. let's talk about pastel palace which is in colchester essex uk uh, this is the first safe place tattoo studio I ever saw that was really heavy on like advertising that they were a safe place. You know, that's what their branding is kind of thing. Their bio on Instagram says that they're LGBTQ plus and woman owned, which is great because the tattoo industry is very male dominated. It's definitely come a long way. I remember when I first started getting tattooed many, many years ago. <laughs> and I really didn't know that many women tattoo artists, uh, to be honest with you. But then again, back then, I was like, I wasn't as into tattooing as I am now. So that could be a big factor, obviously. But it has come a long way. Pastel Palace is extremely inclusive. Ex oh, my goodness. I literally, I get goosebumps right now thinking about it, talking about it, just because I love the idea of this so much. When you book in with Pastel Palace, you fill out forms and it has questions like preferred pronouns and if you have a disability and it kind of asks you questions to sort of cater to your needs. It's neurodiverse friendly also. There's no shared workrooms, which basically means you will be in a private room with you and the artist and that's it. So with a lot of tattoo studios, they're quite open and you'll have like a tattoo bed, a tattoo bed, a tattoo bed, and there'll be like multiple tattoo artists. And then most tattoo studios, if they do piercings as well, will have a separate room for that. But for a lot of places, it is like open planned, which for someone like me that doesn't really care that much, I don't, it's not a big deal. But I know there's a lot of people that want that privacy. They don't want to be out in the open for everyone to see what is happening to them. A lot of tattoo placements mean you have to be kind of exposed, especially if you get something like on your back, sternum area, thighs. Even if you're uncomfortable having your arms on show for whatever reason, you know, you, you don't want, you know, people looking at you if you're insecure about something or you're uncomfortable with something. Another thing that I really love about Pastel Palace is on their Instagram, they have a highlight reel dedicated to people of colour because as we all know, people of colour in the tattoo industry, they get overlooked quite a bit and um, there isn't enough education with a lot of tattoo artists about tattooing darker skin tones or you know, tattoo artists will tattoo darker skin tones, but they won't post pictures. So I like that they have that there for people to look at and for people of colour to see, you know, what the work is like and what have you. I really love that. And I totally believe that tattoo studios should do that more often. Another thing that I love about Pastel Palace is that it's super colourful and the name pretty much suggests what it's like, you know, like it's a Pastel Palace, quite literally. <laughs> but it's super cute and it gives this just adorable bubble gum. I don't I just want to eat it. <laughs> I really just want to eat this studio because it's so cute. <laughs> so Pastel Palace offers piercings and tattoos. There is a piercer there. They go by the name Faithful Piercing. I, I don't know their actual name. It could be Tilly from their highlight reel. So I'm not sure. On their Instagram page, it says Faithful Piercing without the name. So We'll go with just faithful for now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they do body piercings. There's Samantha, 
who does tattoos. Their work is super cute. Oh my God, it's adorable. It's a mix of black work, traditional dot work, neo, traditional realism. There's honestly a mixed bag. Like they're super talented with how many styles they can do. Cause a lot of tattoo artists will just specialize in like one or two styles and just go with it. But no, Samantha's out here doing the most. <laughs> and then there's Aurora, who does black work, traditional, and watercolour as well. So another mixed bag. Again, adorable tattoos. They just all seem like a fr friendly bunch from, like, the TikToks I've seen that they've posted and what they post on Instagram. And again, I would love to visit there one day. You know, just, oh, it just gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Anyway, the next one is Haven Tattoo in Brooklyn, New York City. This again is a studio that I discovered through doing my TikTok reaction videos. They just do tattoos. Their Instagram bio says queer women owned private studio. They have highlight reels on their Instagram and they have one that says what and it's their mission statement, which I'm gonna read for you guys. And it's thank you for choosing Haven and putting your trust in us it is sincerely humbling and an honor to be part of your tattoo process the idea of this studio was born from dozens and dozens of client stories and their previous negative tattoo experiences we're aware of what an intimidating experience getting a tattoo can be especially for a first timer not only is it sometimes scary but it is also a very intimate process and we do not take that lightly this is why we are completely private studio with never more than two clients maximum at a time. We are also comprised of only female tattoo artists as our clientele is 99% female, trans and or non-binary. Our goal is to give our clients the most comfortable experience possible from the time you walk in our door to the time you leave. If you have hesitations in regards to a design, stencil placement, stencil size, etc, we encourage you to voice these concerns with us. We are not happy unless you're happy. Your tattoo is not only the thing you'll have forever, you'll remember the whole experience as well and we want to make sure it's the best it can possibly be. We, the artists, have experienced negative situations in tattoo shops before, whether it be getting tattooed or witnessing it, receiving it from co-workers. That is not what we want for our clients or ourselves. Please make yourself comfortable. This is a completely judgment-free, safe space no matter your gender, size, race, sexual orientation, etc. Oh, mouthful. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> And that is completely what I love to see, hear, and read. It just, I know if like a lot of tattoo studios started doing something like that, saying that, you know, they have a mission to make you comfortable, to make you happy as the client. I feel like a lot of people would feel a lot safer. The Haven tattoo is beautifully decorated. Uh, I saw again, a TikTok of it. It's just, oh amazing they have like snacks for you and all sorts which which to me is a big selling point <laughs> like if somewhere's offering me snacks <laughs> i'm bitch i'm there like let me in i'll get tattooed for the snacks at the moment there is two people working at haven tattoo i believe from looking at their instagram they're looking for another tattoo artist but there is cameron who is an artist and the studio manager so they look after you know the studio what have you obviously and they do a lot of artwork which is beautiful and then there is jessica who does oh my god amazing tattoos they're super colorful really cute there's also black work in there as well so there's a bit of something there for everyone but great work honestly the next tattoo studio i want to talk about is inky's tattoos parlor in melbourne colton australia right down under. <laughs> this was suggested by Emily in the comments in that TikTok video that I mentioned that I was going to do a video like this. So thank you, Emily. The Instagram bio says cutest, kind, welcoming, eco tattoo studio. They've got this post here on their Instagram that shows their sort of front entrance, the window area by the door. And it literally says in rainbow colours, kindness, respect, inclusiveness, inclusiveness, inclusive inclusiveness, equality, compassion, tolerance, eco-conscious. And then the description of underneath that says, before stepping through the doors at Inky's Tattoo Parlor, you literally know what you can expect from our special space. Cause it's written here for all to see. These are words we truly live by and have done everything we can to provide a beautiful tattoo experience for you. Thank you to everyone that has followed along with our journey and please pop along to our party on the 28th, which 
this was back in May, so there's there's no party happening on the 28th of like January or anything. I'm I do apologise. <laughs> so again, another tattoo studio that is really advertising that they're a safe place. There is a few tattoo artists that work here. There is Flora who does fine line and black work tattoos. There's Lockie Harley who does black work and traditional. There's Rudy who also does black work and traditional. There's Madison who does fine line and black work. There's Leon who does traditional and black work. And then there's Denise who does black work and line work. There's a lot of black work going on in there. <laughs> But black work is like one of the most popular styles at the moment. I mean, I don't blame them. I have a lot of black work myself. So, and yeah, that's pretty much the only information I could find out about this studio, but it looks good to me. <laughs> and then there's another suggestion from Emily who suggested the previous tattoo studio that I've just mentioned. This is in Croydon, Melbourne, Australia as well. By the way, if I keep looking down, it's because my laptop's here with a load of notes. Anyway, <laughs> um, but this is called White Fox Tattoo. Their Instagram bio says that they're custom, vegan, sustainable, carbon neutral, LGBTQIA+, people of colour, neurodiverse, safe space. They've covered all bases there, which I absolutely love to hear. Um, this is a little segment from their website is kind of again like a mission statement and it says white fox is a small custom studio in croydon victoria australia with a fun relaxed vibe our trained artists aim to provide all our clients with a memorable and comfortable tattoo experience and love collaborating to to bring their ideas to life the studio was created by meg miss megs in 2017 to provide a welcoming warm professional and respectful safe space particularly for women lgbtqi plus people of colour, those with sensory sensitivities, or anyone that may have felt unwelcome, uncomfortable, disrespected, unheard, or unsafe in a more traditional tattoo studios. We have a strong ethic of do no harm and practice kindness above all else. Our studio only uses products that have not been tested on animals and are certified vegan, but only where safe and legal as we don't want to harm our clients either. The energy we use is 100% carbon neutral and we have a full recycling program. We love promoting local, ethical and bespoke sellers and believe strongly in supporting our wonderful community. We look forward to meeting and working with you. How sweet! <laughs> uh, there's three tattoo artists that work there. There's Miss Megs, who is the owner, who does watercolour tattoos. Just beautiful works of art. Like, oh, the talent. And then there's Noni, who does black work, line work, realism. Again amazing work and then they have an apprentice named Paige who does line work black work and traditional so a lot of bases are covered in that tattoo studio there is something there for everyone okay the next one I want to talk about is tattoo hot now how do you say this is it house or is it horse horse <laughs> like tattoo horse <laughs> house horse <laughs> I sound like I'm saying horse I'm not but it's h-a-u-s do with that what you will. Uh, this is um, in Toronto, Canada. This was suggested by Erin in comments again. Um, this tattoo studio just does tattoos. Their Instagram bio says everybody is welcome, which I love. <laughs> like short to the point, let's go. Their website has a little bit of information. It says established in 2016 at Toronto Tattoo Ho House Horse. <laughs> <laughs> Our mission is to provide you with quality and original tattoos using advanced sterilization practices produced in a comfortable, safe and supporting atmosphere by patient professionals. Since going professional in 2013, Kate opened the doors to the Toronto Tattoo Horse <laughs> House. <laughs> In 2016, to create an environment for artists to feel comfortable and safe with plenty of room for growth, creativity, as well as equal opportunity for women to excel in. I love that so much. This all-female operator studio is a safe, supporting atmosphere for all walks of life. Whether you're a first-timer or this is your 100th, no, a thousandth tattoo, you can trust the artists at the Toronto Tattoo House Horse. We'll make it their priority that you leave with a piece of art that you can that you can be proud of for life. Love to hear it. We have Kate, who's the owner, who does black work traditional. There's Carla, who does realism, black work, line work. There's Jules, who does black work and line work. And then there's Chelsea, who does black work trad realism. And then Anna, who does line work, fine line traditional. There is something there for everyone again. I love tattoo studios that have like a broad 
range of you know styles and artists and what have you <sighs> okay i'm going to talk about one more tattoo studio in this video because again this video will be very very long otherwise this was also suggested by someone in a comment princely so thank you for that uh this is honey wraith or wrath I think it's Wraith, Honey Wraith. I don't know, I'm not educated. This is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in America. This is the comment that Princey left and they said, Honey Wraith Tattoo in Milwaukee is an amazing woman and queer owned shop. I always recommend. All the artists are so sweet and incredibly talented. It's just an overall extremely welcome, welcome, welcoming and safe shop, 10 out of 10. So we've got someone to vouch for them, which is pretty cool. Their Instagram bio says Femme and Queer Tattoo Studio. They don't have many Instagram posts. I think it's kind of new or they've got a new account or something. I'm not sure. But the aesthetic of this shop is, oh my God. Like, I would love my house to look like this. It gives me vintage whiskey pub bar vibes. And what I mean by that is everything's like plants dark furniture but it's still really bright and welcoming i don't know i just kind of want to sit on one of their sofas and drink a whiskey i don't like whiskey <laughs> but you know like i feel like i should have a cigar <laughs> and like be drinking some kind of heavy strong cocktail while i'm in there which obviously i don't recommend when you're getting tattooed do not drink alcohol but yeah it's oh beautiful love it i couldn't really find out any more information about this studio um, but I kind of wanted to mention it just because of the rave review and the way it looks. <laughs> but the artists here are so talented. Oh my goodness. I was looking at their Instagram, so I was like, oh my God. Oh, damn. Okay, hello. There's Jennifer, who's the owner, who does neo-traditional, beautifully colourful, just exquisite <laughs> <laughs> works of art at uh, the Stuart who does neo-traditional and also very colorful just gorgeous there's Shannon who does neo-traditional kawaii very cute very colorful a bit of me I do have that side to me and then there's Beta or Beta I'm probably saying that wrong I do apologize um who does black work line work and neo-traditional as well so again you have pretty much most bases covered there so there's something there for everyone. If I could be like an international jet set traveler, <laughs> I would love to visit every single studio I have mentioned here. Check out everyone that I've mentioned. I will leave relative links down below in the description to Instagrams, websites, all of that. And um, the individual tattoo artists as well. If you've got any suggestions of safe place tattoo studios, then please leave a comment down below with the shop name and the location. That'll be super helpful. And then hopefully I can do more videos like this because it will really help people out there in the atmosphere <laughs> that are looking for studios like this because I can imagine that studios like this will become a lot more popular and a lot more requested and needed and it will shape tattooing to become a lot more friendly and um yeah okay i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching and i hope you all are very well and until my next video bye